Hello everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play Divinity Original Sin 2. In the last episode, we saved Gwidwin and... Gwidwin? What's his name? Gwidian. It's a weird name. In any case, we saved him a couple of episodes ago and then we went and explored the Black Pit's mines. But, he is here with his family and I want to go see what's up. I'm glad I still have people I can call family. But I know we can't stay here. The Magisters. They'll come back. They always do. So, farewell. Oh, and take this. You'll make better use of it than I ever could. Ask him where he plans to he go. responds with a weak shrug. Away from here. Away from Driftwood. Away from Ox. Away from all of this. I'd ask Hanag. But it seems she's deserted me. Deserted my family. I have no idea where she disappeared to. Maybe it's best, I don't know. He turns wordlessly and takes his first steps towards a new life. Interesting. Um, I'm just surprised that we didn't get a chance to tell him where Hanag is and that Hanag actually sent us to go help him. Because she did. Um. I don't really know what to get. Um. I guess Frost Rune. Honestly, the Frost Rune is probably better than most other stuff. Oh, look at that. Carrying his dead son. There's something just horrible about this whole affair. They just, they have to leave their home and leave everything behind. They have no choice. Uh, also, <laughs> Solora got fucked in that fight. He probably saved my life a few times just by the fact that he was there. Um, can I actually rest? No, it does not heal him, interestingly. Losa does better healing than the Red Prince, interestingly. There we go, he's full health. Fantastic. Um, alright, so next, speaking of Hanag, we should go talk to her. Because we saved... Gwydion, is apparently his name. Um, what level are we? 13? 13. So let's go talk to Hanag first. Uh, she should be over here, I believe. Yes, she is. Hello, Hanag. That was an odd auto. No, it was a quick save. I hit the wrong button. That's fine. My hero, I'm grateful. What news of Gwydion Rince? Have you found him? The Magister had taken him, but I was able to free him. Oh, I am relieved to hear it. You have my thanks, and you shall have my help. I can give you a greater understanding of your source. I can increase your powers. I can show you how to take the source from the world around you. From the animal world, the creatures of the forest. What am I say, animals? All living creatures have their small share of source. You may draw it to you, and I will show you how. You shall gain much in power, but they... <laughs> they will lose it all. They die. I'm trying to zoom in on her, because she looks like she has red... No, she has a yellow skin. She's a yellow skinned lizard. I just noticed her face looks red, but it's like, it's not quite. A feeling rises from deep inside you. The sentiment is clear. The animals must die to serve your god. You must not falter. You must do what must be done. You must serve your god. I make it to one. She takes your hands. You feel a vibration, the humming of life all around you. The sensation of a hundred tiny heartbeats, the true rhythm of the forest. With Hanag as your guide, you reach out into the woods. The heartbeat rhythm quickens as the creatures of the forest sense you pulling at them. You draw their source towards you. The rush of through your very soul surprises and delights. You feel stronger, more capable. You have taken one more step towards the ultimate power. And the woods are quiet. The creatures of the forest are all dead. Whoa, interesting. 
With a sickening lurch, you feel yourself change. You feel suddenly isolated, trapped by your own form. You lack a connection to the natural world. You realize you can no longer talk to animals. Interesting. I've never done this before, which is why it's interesting. I'm also tempted to not do it. As much as I dislike changing my choices in games, I lose a lot by not having pet pal. My debt is paid, but I worry about your heart. It can be good and bad. The time will come when you must choose between the many and the few. I hope that then you will remember your good heart. Interesting. I owe you a debt. It must be repaid. She opens her hands, and between them... Playing our gateway, that's a good spell. A book drops. I bid you farewell. It feels like there's fire in my blood. I never imagined such power. Once more, you feel your soul expand with raw source. Deep inside, your visitor calls for you again. I am actually going to load, because Pet Pal is too useful not to. Um, it's interesting, I've never done that before. <laughs> I wanted to see what would happen. Because it seems like that's the kind of thing that will give you a consequence, and I'm glad they give you one. But it's one of the few quests I've never actually fully completed. I've never gone back to Hanag. It's very cool, but... Pet Pal is more useful. I'm grateful. What news of Gwydion Rince? Oh, I can give you a greater un all living creature. A feeling right. Refuse, you cannot slaughter the innocent for your own ends. A roar of frustration from deep within you shakes you to your core. Also, I like annoying the god inside me. As you wish. You have a good heart, my friend. Better that than one which rots. But yours, I fear it is too good. I leave you with my thanks. With a nod of respect, she turns away. Hmm, that's what I thought. It's interesting. I'm grateful. She's clearly a, a good person. And it's funny that she actually seemingly judges us for, for doing what she tells us that we should do. Um, alright. So. Close circuit, we definitely want. Hmm. Epidemic of fire is fantastic. Um, Grasp of the Starved. Losa can learn it. Nah. Forced exchange is good. Skin graft is better. Get rid of all cooldowns is insane. Um... Door to Eternity. Nah. Planar Gateway. Planar Gateway is really cool, but honestly, a lot of the time, not worth two source points. Arcane Stitch. Fully restore target character's magic armor. Remove Frozen Stone. One, one point to do that? That's insane. And Steam Lance, I think... Uh, Losa already knows, but probably worth it anyway. Jesus. That's insane. Uh. Yeah, let's just balance that. I got rid of my shit. Um. <laughs> it's insane. She offers you a grateful smile. Ah. Ask her if she truly crafted the death, the death fog bomb, as Zanissima claims. That was the dwarf we found quite a few episodes ago when we were doing work for Lohar. We found a death bomb fog being worked on by a dwarven scholar, I guess you would call her. Artificer, maybe. Um, and she told us that it was made by Hanag. My crowning glory and the millstone around my neck. Yes, I made the bomb. I served Lucian as best I could. I gave him what he asked. Would I do it again? No, I would not. I owe you a debt. It must be repaid. She opens her hands, and between hmm, them opens interesting. a tiny portal. A book drops from it. She catches it and hands it to you. I bid you farewell. Cool. So we still get the Planar Gateway book. Um, lots of stuff here. 
Um, I can, can't love skin grafter yet. I don't actually have Hydro 3 on the Red Prince, which is insane. I only have one point in Hydro, which is kind of funny. I have a lot of stuff from gear. Like, a lot of stuff from gear. Alright, so I think next time we do one level in Hydro, which should get me everything I need for Hydro. I don't think I need to go much higher than that. Although, if I want my spells to do more damage, I should. Uh, closed Circuit, I want. Low Circuit, learn Epidemic of Fire. As well as... Nothing, because she doesn't have enough points to learn anything else, and she already knows these two. Alright, so I'm going to keep... Wow, I have a lot of shit hanging around still. Um, scoundrel and Leadership. That's a lot more armor. I need to find someone who can identify all this lore master for gear. Something I need to do. I also need to make... Um, I mean, I have a source orb. Here we go. Source orb. Metal scraps. Eternal plate. Eternal artifact. Um, Source Orb, Eternal Artifact, Eternal Plate, and Metal Scrap. I think it was Plate Scrap. Nope, it was Metal Scrap. Armor of the Eternals. 20% uh, air resistance, additional movement, plus 42 armor, immunity to stunned, inflict stunned on contact, immunity to shocked, Reflect 10% of melee damage as air damage. That's insanely good. Um, particularly for my build as well, oddly. Uh, here we go. Also looks quite cool. And it has a slot. So that works. Um, nah, not worth it. So that gets sold amazingly. Yeah, that gets sold too. That gets sold. Alright, so Losa has some stuff that I can sell too. So let's do that. Um, eventually I'm going to need that as well. Bone dust. Alright, I think we're good. I think we're good. Um, I guess I'll put these into the book bag. Auto sort. I think we're good. I really need to go through these keys sooner or later and find out which ones I can keep and which ones I can throw away. <laughs> um. I have extra writs of passage that I don't need. I'll throw them out. Uh, parchment, I don't want. Apologies for inventory management, but it's sometimes what needs to be done. Okay, so I now have the Armor of Eternals, and I can put a rune in that. Um, which rune do I want to put in that? More physical armor is nice. Fire resistance... Water resistance, earth resistance, air resistance. Source orb, mass cleanse wounds. Additional fire resistance is horrible, I suppose. That puts me at what? 19 fire resistance, 55 air. You know what? I think we put... I'm going to put more air resistance. Puts me to 60% air resistance? Yeah. That'll work. Alright. So, after all that bollocks, um, I now want to head... Actually, where's Hanag? 
I gave her some money. I can probably get some of that money back. My hero. I'm grateful. All, uh, all of it, please. I need to drop like 300. Sure, that'll work. She offers you a grateful smile. I bid you farewell. Cool. All right. So now let's teleport back to Driftwood Square. Yeah, sure. Driftwood Square will work. Let's come over and talk to Ovis over here. Back for a return visit, are you? Indeed. Um, I'll sell the rest of this crap that I no longer need. And he should be able to identify. Yes, he's Lawmaster Five, so he can identify a bunch of these things. Cool. And this. Keeping it together, Bree. Cool. This. Ooh, quite good. You're safe among friends. Um, was there anything else I needed to identify? This. Alright, cool. Bartering leadership perseverance. Arguably better. Alright, sweet. Wish him well and yep, step back. Yep, yep. yep. Alright, so. Auto sort. Scoundrel Geo. This is Scoundrel Aero Summoning. I mean, I think it's probably straight better. It drops my. My magic armor quite a bit, but. It's actually a cool looking hat, so I can keep it on. Fantastic. Uh, let's sell that. This. Water resistance, air resistance, or we can have wits, water, earth. Yeah, I mean, they're better. Most certainly. The shield is nowhere near as good. Um, how is it compared to yours? I think you have a, like, insanely good shield as well. You do. So that shield can just go away. Unfortunate, but what you gonna do? Uh, Dot's collar, I think, is for a quest, if I remember correctly. Uh, scoundrel and leadership. Bartering leadership perseverance. With 117, it's hard to say no to that. Um, we lose a point in persuasion, which sucks, but... I mean, ultimately, it doesn't matter that much. Um, apparently I can't sell the black ring blade, which is weird, but whatever. Okay. So first, last thing for inventory management. Let's sell all that crap. Yep, yep. All right, so we're we're almost back to a normal kind of looking inventory. Uh, I don't need these either. Back for a return visit. All right. So I think my inventory is now better. We seem to be at least into a... Yeah! I apparently can't sell the captain's compass. Or that. So I guess we're just keeping them. Um, all this ring, apparently. Because it's Jonathan's ring. I guess I can maybe I can give that to... Um, to Gareth. That would make sense, I suppose. Alright. Now, what to do? We're already sitting at 20 minutes, so... That's a thing. Um, gotta go help Elmira. I don't think I'm high enough level to do that yet. Riker. I'm probably gonna fight Riker. So I'm not powerful enough to do that yet. Jayhan, I can go help. And get to Blood Moon Isle. So I think the reality of the situation is I want to get to Blood Moon Isle, if at all possible. Smells worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs. There's another half of Anathema on Blood Moon Isle. It looks like Blood Moon Isle is my next port of call. Well, don't come over. Not like you're blowing um, I could give Riker the tablet, but I want to kill Riker because he's an evil piece of shit. I could go find Sahelia's people. That's something I could do. I... I... 
Yes. That's this is something I can do very quickly. Um, I've decided I want to give this letter. It's a letter from Queen Justinia, who is the Queen of the Dwarves. Um, I can actually just teleport there; it'll be a lot quicker. And I can either choose to give it to the guards of or the magisters, or I can give it to Loha. And I am going to give it to Loha because thus far he's actually been proven to be quite a good man. Where am I looking for? Under tavern. That's the one. Under tavern. Let's go up and talk to Loha. This is probably going to be a relatively uneventful episode because there's a couple of things I want to do and I'm sitting in this position where I'm not quite sure how I want to do them. Hmm, that's interesting. Caden and Bant are leaving. Hey, Loha. What is it? I have a lot on my mind. Uh, tell him you came across a wrecked caravan outside. It looked like some of his people were involved. That's right. Lost one of my best lads, Anhar. Didn't get Jalia's body back, though. Maybe one of them beasts took her like they did the sorcerers. Uh, so you met her there. She survived, but seemed traumatized, and then she ran off. That's... Well, I reckon that's good news. P poor thing. She'll be back in time. She and Anhar were sweethearts. Uh, so you spoke to Anhar's spirit. He seemed concerned about getting soul-forged weapons out of a cave. Bloody lad. Flapping his gums in the next life, too. That's another little venture of ours. Don't concern you, though. Ask why he doesn't go collect the bodies of the fallen. We will, once the Reds turn down the alarm a bit. They're jumpy as all hell for the moment. Won't do anyone any good to raise a ruckus now. Right, I'll change the subject. Um, ask what he, exactly he does here in Driftwood. Whatever needs doing. Isn't that obvious? Apparently I can't. I have a lot on my mind. Apparently I can't give him the letter. Unless I, I may have accidentally thrown out the letter. Sure, that'll do. I guess. Um, take my leave. Cool. Um. So I think that's probably going to be it. That was a relatively uneventful episode. It was quite an uneventful episode, in fact. Actually, you know what I will do before we finish? Um, there's a lot of me, like, sorting through my inventory, which isn't that useful. There's Gahanga here, which pushes the Red Prince's story. But first, let's talk to this girl. Hail, stunning creature. Call me Dorothea. Dorothea, huh? Eh, not that good. She draws close. You feel her breath on your neck. Hot, moist. Mmm. Oh, yes. I have something that you want. But I only bargain with those I deem deserving. Those who have accomplished great things. So, tell me, are you worthy of my gift? <laughs> I've never done the Red Prince one, and it may fuck things up, but let's see. Say that you are, if her gift is worthy of you. Oh dear. You assume your reputation precedes you. And I'm afraid that I can't honor such... Surely you've accomplished something of note. Um... Insi uh, insist that the champions of Fort Joy Arena need not prove their worth. Indeed. Hmm. This is acceptable. You are nearer the one than most self-described heroes I've known. So, tell me, are you ready for me to grant you your greatest desire? Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. This is really cool. I've never seen all of these, um, these points. Those eyes, deep, yes, but lifeless. They reflect no light, as if absorbing every ray that enters. I see the questions scurrying through your head. It's worrying too much, and wandering too far. If you show yourself to me, I will show myself to you. You have a need to expose it. Look into my ring and tell me what you see there. 
Tell her you'll do it. What? Who wouldn't want to wish? Who wouldn't want to, to see a wish granted? Gaze into the gem, scaled one. She flashes her ring at you, and you stare at the luminescent stone at its center. You are floating on a current of pure source, surrounded by a kaleidoscope of colors and fuzzy images. On the horizon looms a dark silhouette. As you approach, a beam of light washes the shadow away, revealing to you... A transparent chrysalis, a blue butterfly within, looks ready to break free. I'm pretty sure this is the right one. I can't remember specifically. Mm, yes. I see you clearly now. Mm. It is immortality you desire, as do we all. It's not something I can give, but I can give you the breath of life. In return, I ask for one courtesy. A kiss. A kiss. Most delicious. Meet me at- Okay. So. Uh, you can do this with all your characters. Uh, what this gives you, by the way, um, I won't spoil what actually happens. What this gives you is either you lose two points in constitution and you gain two points in any other stat or you gain what I'm about to get, which is an item of great worth <laughs> in my mind. Apparently Sir Laura is going to watch this. Dorothea sees you and heaves a shuddering sigh. She bites into her lower lip with enough force that a drop of blood seeps out. Blood and something else. Something green. Darling, I admit I wish we could share more carnal pleasures. Yet I think a kiss is the height of intimacy. Now come closer and receive your soul's desire. You draw closer and close your eyes, eager to feel her lips on yours. Yet her lips do not press against yours, and her hands do not caress your face. She is a woman no longer, but a were-spider. Fucking weird. <laughs> we get a glowing idol of rebirth. Her fang painlessly sinks into your neck. You still hear her words, though they sound muffled, as if filtered through a glass wall. I can't give you endless life. Instead... Take this phoenix idol. Keep it on you. Should you die, the idol will resurrect you. You can cheat death once this way. Very useful item. We part Arguably. I'll remember this moment. One of the most powerful items in the game. Um. Hold on, she's a spider? Did she just drink your blood? You've seen my true self. There's nothing more to know. She kisses her forefinger, then presses it against your scaled forehead. Now go. We get Spider's Kiss. Now, I believe... Loisa can also do this. Except I can't talk to her while she's moving. I have to actually wait for her to come back up here, unfortunately. But, you know... I can do multiple things at once. So what a spider's kiss does, by the way, if we actually go to our buffs and debuffs, here we go. Um, a spider's kiss gives you negative two constitution. So you get negative two constitution. If I choose one of the other things, it could give me plus two in another stat. So you essentially trade some constitution for what you're looking for. Um, you can see here my constitution is now 12 rather than 14. So I need to chuck another point in constitution, but not the end of the world on Lone Wolf because it's only one point to get that back. But we got ourselves the glowing idol of rebirth. Sculpted as a phoenix rising from the ashes, a bright glow emanates from the runes carved on the, uh, this idol. Kip Upon its base is etched, fear not death, while flame burns in my heart. Now, something that a lot of people don't know, and we actually learned, you learn in the first act if you happen to find a book for it. Um, I'm just going to speed through the dialogue because it's exactly the same dialogue with Loisa as it is with the Red Prince. Where is Dorothea? I wasn't paying attention to where she went, and now I do not know where she is. Oh, there she is. Hail. Um. Mm, are you worthy of my gift? Uh, 
Um, boast of your rescue of Mari, the woman trapped outside Driftwood is quite an accomplishment. Indeed. This, are you ready for me to grant you your greatest desire? Um, tilt your head. Is she coming on to you? Oh, make no mistake. Your body would be to my taste. But I am interested in probing deeper. She's definitely coming on to me. You have a need to yep. expose it. Gaze it. She flashes her So you gaze into the ring. A dark silhouette. Oh, As interesting. A beam of light washes the shadow away, revealing to you. I can't see the the last one. I can't choose the, the idol again. Ordinarily, you can choose the idol for all your characters, but I guess because we were linked together at the start, I can't choose it again. Huh. Interesting. Uh, so this one adds to your strength, this one adds to your intelligence, this one gives you money, and this one adds to... Something else? A stately dragon. It spreads its wings and roars. Such power. I can't remember what this one gives you, so I'm just going to do this one. Yes. Mm, it is power you seek. To conjure maelstroms and command the light to drive away shadow. I do remember what this one is. I it's a random source spell, I think. Desire. A kiss. I agree to a deal. Most... Cool. Um, you used to be able to get two rebirth idols. For some reason, I can't now. So that's weird, but whatever. Um, I've, I definitely remember being able to get a rebirth idol for every single character. I'm going to bring the Red Prince over here. The reason being, I'm really tempted to metagame the shit out of this. In so much as uh, the Red Prince will actually, like, if you kill her afterwards, I think she drops an Idol of Rebirth. So, I'm, I'm, I'm tempted. I'll be perfectly honest. Dorothea sees you and heaves a shudder at um, you. You draw, yet her lips do not press against yours. Cool. More XP. I think specifically for the character that does it. Fine. You desired part. We part ways now. I'll Raise your weapon. This deceitful creature should not be allowed to live. I have given you what you asked, and still you. Erratic wisp, eh? I can absolutely destroy her. I believe. Um, she has erratic wisp on, which is annoying. Apparently not that annoying. Oh, now we have a spider. Kind of evil what I'm doing, but I do a lot of evil things in this game apparently. It's fine. Being in webbed really doesn't do that much bad for me to be perfectly honest. Interesting. She can cast terrified. I mean, honestly, she's not going to be difficult to kill at this point. Stunned. You thought it was over. How unfortunate for you. I didn't. I knew you were going to come back to life. I came prepared. Unfortunately, it didn't give you any armor back. Otherwise, you might actually be intimidating. Actually, probably not at this stage. It's only level 9. Quick, 
talk to her. I want the dialogue. The air suddenly feels thick, like it's grown musty after concealing a lie for so long. Um. Why am I getting this dialogue now? This is the dialogue I was supposed to get after I found out about the gods, and I'm getting it now for some reason. The tales of one of scholars becoming gods. If they could, we can. Which is rather excellent. Everyone's got a past. We are who we are in this moment. That includes the Mighty Seven. That's a, a chaos answer if ever I've heard one. Um, but if we look at Dorothea, we have the Ashen Idol of Rebirth, as well as a bunch of cool shit she has. But if we take this Ashen Idol of Rebirth and we combine it with a, a Scroll of Resurrection, look at that, we get a Glowing Idol of Rebirth. So essentially what this is, by the way, is the Glowing Idol of Rebirth is... Yeah, okay, I got two, good. Um, it is an auto... an auto revive, so it'll... As soon as you go down, you get revived as if someone used a resurrection scroll on you, is how it works. It's quite incredibly powerful, to be perfectly honest. Um, just one. There we go, 5 each, that'll work. It is one of the more powerful uh, things in the game, because it essentially just gives you... The AI often will use its last attack to kill somebody. So if it does that, then you resurrect immediately. It gives you a chance to heal up when otherwise you wouldn't have had that chance. Um, I think I just sell these immediately. Hydro, Geo, Water, eh. Pyro, 84, don't care. Belts is... Bartering and Lucky Charm is not horrible. Not as good as mine, though. Um, and daggers are daggers, so I don't care. Perfect. Alright, so... This source orb, by the way, I can probably put in here. There we go. I have a lot of shit in my inventory. It's a very unclean inventory. Uh, Alright, I think we're good. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is just sell some stuff, but as I'm going to do that, if you like this video, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. As always, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time, where I think we're going to take on the arena? That's my thinking. Hey, can you sell stuff? Hey, you've got money. I can't remember what it's used for, but I remember it for a quest, so let's grab that as well. <laughs> Alright, so, like, there's a quest that I need them for, but I can't remember what the hell the quest is, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, but there is a quest that requires a life wood log, so I'm gonna take it. Maybe a bad idea, but we're gonna do it anyway. Alright, these blank scroll books can I can just give to Losa, she can just hold them normally. Um, apparently I cannot sell the Dead Explorer's Diary, good to know. Alright, so that's actually going to be it. I've just, I'm, waff I'm waffling at this point. In any case, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Woo!